Most car guys really want to avoid upholstery work at all costs. You know, it's a different skill set than wrenching or painting on a car. And there are companies like LeBaron Bonnie who uh, started out just doing early Ford stuff and became a concourse restorations uh, upholstery supply house. And as time went by, they acquired Hampton Coach and Easy Boy. So now they offer a complete line of products for whether it's a Oldsmobile, a Ford, or a Pontiac, they've got an interior kit for you. And even now for our 57 DeSoto project, uh, going through their Easy Boy line, they had patterns and could develop a product that uh, kind of had our 50s kind of flair to it, yet was uh, a new product offering. The, uh, the seat covers are, you know, have sort of that 50s kind of feel to them with the narrow pleats to the nice wide borders and French seams. You know, they have a nice 50s kind of flavor to them. We were able to actually pick up a set from Easy Boy and we're going to go through the process of actually putting these seat covers on the frame. And in doing that, you know, the first thing we had to do is we stripped down these seat frames, we sandblasted them, got them painted, ready, and uh, what we'll do is we'll put on some burlap to actually cover the springs. We'll follow that up with some jute padding that will actually give our seat frame surface some nice reinforcement. And then we'll add either some scrim foam and some foam to kind of pad it out in places to actually make it feel and fit the way we want it to. Now you can do this yourself and most guys do. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but you know, to show you exactly how, how it should be done, uh, we're going to bring in Gary, who's uh, actually done a lot of automotive upholstery and uh, has the expert knowledge to do this right. To get started on our project, what I'm going to do is cover the seat springs with first two layers of burlap and followed by two more layers of jute. You are going to need a pair of sharp upholstery shears. Jute is a really tough item to cut with just your regular everyday Fiskars. So a good sharp pair of shears will make your life a lot easier. With our upholstery kit, there was a pair of hog ring pliers that were supplied. Definitely will pay to invest in a nice cushion grip and spring loaded pair just for your ease. It's going to make your life so much easier. But hog rings are simple. Two sharpened points and a simple squeeze and it creates a mechanical fastener. Installing the hog rings is self-explanatory. Just want to get your material gathered right onto the edge and then decide where you want each of your fasteners to go and install your hog rings. To cover the jute padding on the seat springs, we are gonna cover it in one inch automotive grade foam. The easiest way to cut foam is with an electric knife. To secure the foam to the jute padding, we're just gonna use a little contact adhesive. The way contact adhesive works is you need to apply adhesive to both surfaces you're trying to adhere together. And then let it tack up dry before you're trying to stick the two pieces together. Because the scrim on the seat cover itself tends to want to grab a hold of the foam on the seat frame, it always helps to install a thin one mil layer of plastic to help it slide right on. Because the seat cover seat inserts are stitched using half inch scrim for the pleated sections and only quarter inch on the outline borders, we decided we were going to pad it up a little bit using some more half inch scrim to glue into the inside of the cover to give us a nice full flat look on the seat cover. After the clear plastic and initially starting to fit the cover, went ahead and started hog ringing it from the back, pulling the cover into the holes that were drilled in the frame. Every seat frame is a little bit different. You may have tack strips, staple strips, or you know, just the raw edge of wire from the seat frame to attach your seat covers to. This one had holes. Um, started in the back, worked the way out, then moved around to the sides and to the, later to the front. You may need an extra hand just getting the cover pulled over the frame. Seat covers are supposed to fit tight. That's how you don't end up with sags or wrinkles. So 
be prepared to wrestle with it a little bit to get it to fit the way you want it to. As you can see, Gary's done a great job of stretching this LeBear Bonnie cover over the seat frame. It really has like a nice professional look to it. And it looks, it looks great. It's going to be a perfect addition to our ride. You know, LeBaron Bonnie's interior products are, you know, they'll, they'll fit. Some, uh, you got to do a little bit of padding, sometimes a little tweaking, you know, to get something to fit. And that's where it pays to have somebody like Gary who's done a lot of upholstery work know exactly what to do to pad things out and get them to fit better. Great product. You should really consider this, you know, instead of riding around in that uh, ratty interior in your, pro in your car now, go ahead and uh, make the investment and you'll be glad you did.